Okay. Surprise! What? What's that look on your face? Did you expect something bad? Yes. It's an actual elevator straight to the surface. Mm. Rare find. You're welcome, by the way. I know you humans love the sky for some reason, so I thought this would excite you. Not so sure. Look, I know what you're thinking. You really don't trust me. And I've done nothing but sounding like a raving lunatic or a sociopath. Probably both at once, if I'm going to be honest. In the interest of transparency, this elevator will take you up to the surface. Uh, only thing is, it's not all the way out of the enrichment center. When we get to the surface, we still have a little way to go before we can complete your half of the deal. I'll try to help you where I can with these old test chambers, but uh, there's been a lot of decay, if you catch my drift. But hey, look at the bright side. There's fresh air, it's sunny outside, and I think there's a cool breeze. Just watch out for wild animals. Those are brutal. With any luck, this should take just a few minutes, and then you can go free. Hope we're in the clear now. Yeah, that's what I thought, uh, to be fair. I just when I was like, just I kind of commented on that at the beginning, like the very first ones were very tutorially, like they were appealing to um, people who hadn't necessarily played the campaign or played a lot of portals. So yeah, I can I can completely see that. And I, I appreciate that, to be fair. It's nice that um, mods cater for casual players sometimes because it's very easy for mods to have harder puzzles that are catered more towards the hardcore fan. So it's definitely good to see something that makes it more accessible to everybody. Go take a look out that window for a moment. See that huge spire in the distance? That's where we're headed. Little confession. I don't know for sure whether it still works. It is possible that there is just a pile of rubble waiting for us. Judging by how torn apart this place is, I'd give that chance a possibility of... Ooh, you know what? Never mind. I mean, I see cranes. Do you mean like this thing here? Well, I'm sure. Cranes don't look like a spire to me. Anywho. I hate to say it, but we need to find a testing track. Look, I'm sorry. I don't want to torture you with endless testing. You already proved that you're capable. Problem is that these backstage areas aren't built to be as durable as the test chambers. To cover any ground here, we need to move between testing tracks. It's nice that like this this whole area is based in a um, like a style or an area you wouldn't normally see. I know it's kind of like a bit of the overgrown from Portal 2, but the fact that like we're almost surface level is really nice. Gives like an extra kind of layer of stuff to the game. So quite like that. Puzzles this way. Right. But this testing track isn't in good shape. Hmm. There should be another one not far from here. See if you can find it. Not before solving the puzzle first, though, of course. Attempt, but this test is broken. You need to find another one.
Have a look in there. Let's go and put the cube on there. And have a little look seeing that the auto portal is done that. Actually we can go up to there. There we go, that's what we need to do. Solving tests that don't need to be solved. Check the door, even though it doesn't look like it can be open, you never know. Yeah, I did see that it was defaulted to the Portal 1 in the settings, but I do like the old Portal 2 ones. I know that there there are some, like, the good points about the Portal. Um, that's interesting. I guess I completely missed that when it came through here. I just set that there for a start. Um, yeah, the, um, obviously with the Portal 1, it tells you, tells you what you can fire on in different bits and pieces which is quite nice but yeah I like Paul 2 ones as well Portal 2 mod therefore I shall play like Portal 2 I like the customization that allows you to have that it's, um, it's pretty neat That's much better. Might be a bit overgrown, but the hardware still works. They really use fine materials for these tests. Have to protect your investments, after all. Unbreakable materials are expensive. Portal 1 test, anybody? Pretty cool. that this iteration of your Aperture Science handheld portal device has been specifically configured to not shoot portals further than eight kilometers. Yeah, they quickly learn to limit the range on these things. Can easily end the whole world if you put a portal on the sign. Interesting that that, port, that puzzles from portal one, yet we have the turbine elevator here. So yeah, interesting. Nice throwback, though. Good job, guys. Okay. It's a bit weird, though, to see, like, that um, chamber so far to the surface, though, I guess. You know... I wasn't aware that the surface is in such a rough state. You don't want to say it before, but this place is such a mess. This will take so long to clean up. Whoever did this was very thorough Talking about their Paris. All right, Ace, no worries. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Appreciate it, as always. Nice reflections in the water. Um, this in there should be a cube somewhere, right? Is 
over there. Just what I wanted. A cube. Nice to see like more like areas like this that you can actually access. Again, though, if the mod was like aimed more at um, casual players as opposed to hardcores, then I kind of understand why those things necessarily wouldn't be in the game. Casual player might not be looking for Easter eggs like that. So, yeah, I can appreciate it. realized you don't even know how this all happened well long ago aperture was run by a central core capable of monitoring and maintaining the whole facility certain tasks were outsourced to other cores like me everything was great you know a true utopia until one human test subject this little monster just had to ruin our lives and killed her and that's that. Most of my colleagues either went crazy, died, or disappeared. What else were we supposed to do if we can't fulfill our purpose? I wonder who that could have been. Puzzle will remind you of nightmares, Pyrrhus. I've noticed, like, with this one now, that we uh, no longer have names. Reminds me very much of, like, Paul to one with the once we're done. platforms but and everything, the piston platforms. The future, don't hesitate to come back. Nice momentum puzzles there. I'm actually going to like get a this before it's too late. dual pole device. Use the gels sparingly. The tanks aren't being refilled anymore, and what's left won't last forever. Once they're empty, we're going to have a little problem. The gels are also highly corrosive and will eat through metal and skin given enough time. Might be good to know. There's something up there that's activated by that button up there. Start off then by going across to here. We can fling over to there, hopefully get our cube. Nice gel. That ain't no cube. Oh, so I just messed that up. I gotta do that again, unfortunately. Not a problem, though. Yeah, I just assumed that was a cube. Also, I know we just had the conversation about gels and using it sparingly, but I hadn't contemplated that we'd be got gels quite yet. Yeah, I, I agree to a certain extent. There is. 
they are really quite genius in what they are and what they manage to achieve and get the player to do. But for a casual, it can certainly suck the life out of the game for you. 100% agree. Gotta admit, watching you fly through the air like that looks pretty fun. Sometimes I wish I could do the same. How high does this actually go up? Because, I mean, we was, like, pretty much at the surface before, right? And not to, like, ruin the Ill immersion here. These tests were never designed to be exposed to the surface. We've not come across any toxic plants yet, but stay alert. There's a reason we don't do experiments in the open anymore. Gel Emancipation 1. Yeah, it's, um... A little bit weird, like that we're so close to the surface, yet we're still going higher and higher here. Oh, look, we have turrets. That's pretty cool. Oh really? That's what I introduced you to tell us. Oh. Okay, so I could jump out of there and bounce, bounce, but that's not going to help too much, is it? I feel like I've got to pull it through there. And then almost let it fly. Yeah, there we go. And then we do the same again. Only this time we're going to put it in the center. And then once we have it in the center... We can fling through there ourselves. Now, oh, they had to get up to the center, but we just literally come through here. No need to overcomplicate it. Yep, I think that's it. Congratulations on completing this test. We hope you enjoyed your experience at the Aperture Science Center for... Who writes these protocols? Is this all just randomly generated? Oh, of course you enjoyed it. We designed the test that way. There's a reason I don't use those scripts. I could barely get through them when I first tested you. <laughs> Remember that? What did you think of my announcing voice, by the way? I've been practicing it. Are those QR codes in which to mention about the Tales Print Patrol? No one wants to search Google. I realized that LB said in one of the streams something about his videos of Tales Print Patrol, and then I watched the first part of the episodes. Uh, I, I don't know if I played that one. I don't remember a puzzle that had um, anything like that on, if I'm honest, Spurfurious. So that's quite interesting to learn. 
Okay, this puzzle reminds me of one from Mel. This is quite interesting. I'll be honest, I'm not really sure what the point of the the cleansing thing is. It doesn't really have a purpose in this one. Only if you want to like... The, the only thing I guess it forces you to do is to put the cube on there. Yeah, I'm not really sure about like the use of it here. It just seems like a bit of a needless step almost to have Joe come through the portals here. That's the only thing that that is stopping you from doing, like just taking the cube through for a start when it's gelled up. So, yeah, I don't know about that one. Wouldn't it be great to take a break from all the testing just to have a nice, long, warm shower under the cleansing fields? Washing your hair, watching your skin peel off. Yes, you heard me right. Don't try that. The fluid cleanses more than gels. Well, I don't know. I think I was, I was all right walking through them, wasn't I? Might have to look that one up, Perfurious. So I don't remember a. Ooh, looks like that door's broken. Maybe I can rewrap you. Let me see. <laughs> Look at that! Glad these things still work. There aren't many working arm panels left here. I'd love to help you solve the puzzles, but even after watching hundreds of people solve and hurt themselves in these chambers, I still don't get it. I'll just stick to maintenance. If okay, so you don't that mind. enables and disables the cleansing things. field. I'm assuming that's death down there, so I'm not going to try and go down there. Now this is a nice environment. I like this. So, bend it across there, I guess. Okay. So, we need to disable the cleansing gel first. That's fine. We can do that. Um, spread some about, though, first, I guess. Uh, we'll have a bit here, just because why not? Do I need some anywhere else? I tried it in one of my past portal streams, but you gave up. Okay, well, maybe I did. I, they, maybe I just didn't find any of the QR codes and um, Perfurious. Yeah, so I think that's what I need to do. And then I get cleansing gel here and I run across, right? So now we can disable the cleansing gel. Uh, okay, I think I remember the tree. I need to take this back through here.
Okay, I guess that's how we do it. Completely forgot there was like a floor pole that we could do this with. How silly of me. Right, don't know if we need the cube or not. I mean, I would assume that we don't need the cube because we need this cleansing thing to stay off, right? Okay. Yeah, I, I quite like the like the overgrown style with like the the mix of being able to see kind of like outside as well. That's pretty neat. Oh, we don't need the cube. It reminds me almost like of. Um, I don't know if you know the map, you might not, but it was uh, Demagepi's No More Room for Chambers. Uh, well, forever. Just when you think you've seen all the ways one could injure themselves, some moron will make sure to prove you wrong. It was like a big outdoor map that had various like quests, quests and things on it, which is quite neat. We'll see. Secrets. Um, it's Dumagepi's No no Room for Chambers 2, I think it was. It was like a big adventure map, and there was like loads of collectibles and different bits and pieces in it. It was a really cool map. There was like a speedrun challenge in the map and all sorts. That was interesting, like a bit of um, lore or something there. Like there was like a some sort of emergency chamber going off in the background. Emergency siren. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, looks like you're about to get an upgrade to your portal device. Hey. About time. This should make it much easier to navigate through this mess. Yeah, I think I did, Nefarious. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm also pretty sure that I got... Uh, there's a screenshot on my, screen, my Steam profile, actually. Uh, which like, shows me getting the achievements because I didn't do all of the achievements on stream. are over here. Two pro. Two. Hope that doesn't blow and uh, actually try not to think about it. As long as you don't shake it, this planet might be fine. Yeah, I'm shaking it. Nice portal is like portal. Uh, surface design there. Yeah, nice design on the gun. 
Yeah, I, like like I've said, like, I really do like the design of this these areas. I don't know, I'm almost pretty short and sweet. They've done something. Oh. What's going on there? I, I can't see you from here. They've, they've managed to like, do something which has enabled them to create their own style. Um, which is, I, th I think is really good. They're, they're not having to restrict themselves to a certain style from Portal. So, yeah. I think it's, um, it's pretty darn good. Here. I'm hearing some unfavorable noises. Are you okay down there? Try to find a test chamber. I can't see you there. I don't know if it's a test chamber, but it's uh Things are getting pretty spoopy. I just thought that was like a robot or something there. There you are. Wait, how did you get there? Ah. Well, that throws us off course a bit. Not catastrophic, but that wasn't planned. Ah, this list just keeps getting longer and longer. Interesting area. I guess I need to, um, guessing I need to do stuff. start thinking with portals rather than thinking with mono portal don't get where I need to go here oh there okay that makes sense Oh. Okay. Very reminiscent still of like port one areas. I guess we're going to go back to the beginning bit. Kind of makes sense. Go down here. That's enough. Uh, 
known movies, but a few knowledge of movies as a whole. Maybe I could be my those movie critique guys who could say something about games that I actually make. Yeah, well, yeah, everyone's at the end of the day, everyone's entitled to their own opinions. never ever think that um, your opinion doesn't matter because you don't develop something. Opinions are important. This elevator will get us back on track, but it will take a while for us to get back to the surface. Yeah, we seem to be going deeper and deeper now back into the depths of um, Aperture. Chapter 4, The Diversion. Okay. Did there really need to be blood? Also, is that Chamber 19? the mortality rate of that chamber is so high. He can't Maybe even not. get past the first turret. Blind turn. Does that help? Great, that worked. Unfortunately, I don't think I can help any longer. Even though I've got access to all the subroutines, only certain functions are still working. Are you still there? I have gone, Mr. Turret. You come over here. I can't shoot through there. That one's dead. That one's dead. Okay. I'm feeling I was probably meant to use the cube there, but that works. Let's murder the turrets now. I'm not interested in saving them. Game's challenging for sure, it can be quite stressful. You end up having lots of regrets and quitting some concepts. Also, the development software can be somewhat hard to learn. You just have to keep going, not give up. All game, all good games were done by people with this mindset. I agree, crazy. I agree. Also, good to see you, buddy. How you been? Hope you are well. Yeah, the mod's okay. It um, it's, looks very nice. Very nice looking mod. Um, from a challenge perspective, I wouldn't say it's overly challenging. But, nonetheless, um, I'm enjoying it so far. There's some really nice aesthetics in it. Looks really nice in places, so we cannot complain. We've done a good job. Massacre the turrets. And... Where are 
those turrets. You know, the turrets do have feelings. There's no need to be so cruel to them. Elevator, please. Thank you. Um, Only two right. more chambers to reach the spire. I think I told you that I need a human to activate it. From what I heard, it's a pretty complicated cognitive test which only a smart human mind can pass. I don't know what that test is, but make sure to save some of that brain power for later. I remember a lot about my life for the modest face. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to pull the gel up and then send it through there. I just think it's good, crazy that they've, um, as I kind of pointed out earlier, they've they've catered for the like casual player in this. Some mods you don't get that casual player because some mods assume I think that if somebody is playing. Somebody is playing the mod, then they're already kind of um, a, a hardcore, can, can be a, like a hardcore portal player. I'm going to break that. Didn't think about that, did I? Oh, I could do this. Ah, that's clever. That's clever. Very clever. Nice. I like that solution, and it actually oh, sits in there. <laughs> Get the ball in 410 to land perfectly in the socket. Ka ching Yeah, I mean, take, like, Paul Stories Mill when that first released. They released it with the... Um, the standard, standard mode, which was just, like, the hard puzzles. And I think they learned quite early on that they, I don't know if it was always planned, but they introduced the story mode, which was then aimed at making it a little bit easier for the casual player. But it's nice in this one that there is that like nice balance straight from the off of like, we're going to kind of like hold your hand a little bit and just walk you through the, the basics of Portal just in case you aren't an avid player and can't remember how to do things or you haven't played it too much. So, and then, um, yeah, I didn't expect like the puzzles to be massively difficult in this, which they're not. But it's the experience, and I'm Sky, enjoying the experience. Finally, we're back. We're getting pretty close to our goal. Don't die now. All right. This is almost a little bit, I know it's not, but it's quite reminiscent of the, uh, okay. I gotta send this through the cleansing thing. 
That's interesting. Uh, yeah, it's kind of reminiscent of the um, that chamber in Portal 2 where you see Atlas and Peabody. And the kind of chamber splits apart. I kind of got vibes of that when I walked into here. Oh, almost. Let's try that again. Is there a way? I think there probably is. So I can get there myself. Guess I'll have to do the flinging part myself, which is a little bit yikes for me. I'm not too hot when it comes to flinging. Actually, maybe not. I can maybe just do this instead. If I can see that, actually. Yeah, the hammer works really good as well. We was having the discussion when we got this area about how I like the overgrown cross with like the outdoor kind of area. I think is really nice. The brain is a fascinating thing for various. It is absolutely insane sometimes, some of the things we remember. I mean, I'm pretty sure the way you're meant to do that is like being across, but my quick portland skills aren't the best, so... It's always to see chambers where the goal is to clean up the gels. Most of them encourage you to smear it all over the place. Especially anywhere I can reach. Like he's on uh, cleanup detail a lot. Yeah, the only thing I I would I've kind of said is I would maybe like to unless I've missed like loads of stuff I would have kind of liked seeing a few more uh, like hidden stuff in the BTS. I mean I might have just missed stuff, so I'm I'm not 100 percent sure that comment of mine is accurate, but um, I feel like yeah there, there could be more stuff to find in the BTS point of view. We did it. We actually. Did it. Well, not yet, but we will have done it soon. What are you waiting for? Let's go. You reach the spire. Oh, is it really? I wasn't aware of that. Crazy. Uh, I guess that makes sense with all like the additional options on the menus and stuff. see any way to help you here you'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way the lighting just is like such a great job such a heavy description touching this lever certified power breaker so it must be deployed to ensure physical safety connection during operation I mean yeah, 
Yes, I gotta push it. Do not touch the glass. Warning. Glass would break. That's quite neat, though. I'm pretty sure if I hadn't have turned the power back on there, I wouldn't be able to use that dropper. Yeah, that's really cool. I like that. just need to bring the cube back in here then, right? So if we turn off the power again. Be interested to see like whether or not there's any more puzzles that have that kind of feature. Pretty cool one. Is that the way I got to go? Yes, it is. Oh, I missed this port service here. Like, the lighting was different for some reason. Weird. Okay. I'm shocked and amazed that I actually hit that because that's the sort of thing. In my early poor days, I would miss 100% of the time. Halfway there. Well, at least Whoa, it's a good view. Living on a prayer. So. A bit claustrophobic down in the facility. Follow everything around. To another test chamber. If this isn't the last chamber, I'm going to assume you're doing this just to mess with me. Me? Hey. I'm not doing anything to mess with you. What are you talking about? Okay, cube. A cube. I need a bouton. Uh, I also need a way back. So there isn't a switch. Okay, it's not just a one-off mechanic. That's nice to know. chamber i'm going to assume you're doing this just to mess with me the lights were off and i didn't see that there oopsie yeah i did you are quite right team spen
I have a hunch like of what I need to do. That's probably going to be trapping, right? No, no, it's not trapping. This kind of looks like there's no glass there. That's interesting. So... Thought process is I mean, it wasn't that. So yeah, what what I was thinking was send the cube first. Does the cube auto respawn? It does not. What I was thinking was... Well, I could possibly still do it, actually. Okay, yeah, let me... Okay, so we do this. We place the cube. We have a big sneeze for good measure. So we set this up here. Thank you, Pierce. And then we set the balls up. That should go where we need it to go. And then we simply go through here, through there. there. We go. Because the cube landed so perfectly, we don't even have to go and readjust it. No puzzle that way. Just want to check. That's all glass. All glass. Uh, you are correct, Mr. Gecko. Yes, this was indeed fan-made. It came out a um, month, month and a half, two months ago. No, it was just after Christmas, I think, it came out. So just over a month old, this is this mod is. I also like... I've mentioned this like quite a few times. Like, I like it when the route through... Like the facility and stuff goes by the puzzles you've already solved. I think that's a really neat detail. Let's 
kind of feels like something big is about there to happen. She blows. This fire reaches from the bottommost parts of the facility all the way up to the surface. You certainly don't want to fall down that shaft. After you. All right, well, it looks like uh, there's an elevator. The elevator's out of order, so... Yeah, it is fierce. Pretty neat. Nice that they were able to bring a new mechanic, not just like use the existing stuff going forward. So, yeah. Uh, not sure about that, to be honest, Mr. Gecko, but could well be. Uh, let me save there a minute. Let me go back to the title. I'll check. Did we hit... Um, no, we didn't. That's all right. That's cool. Just wanted to check. Uh, I'm going to play up to the end of uh, chapter 4 tonight. I couldn't remember if like we decided the next chapter, so. Yeah, just playing on doing half today, and then half again on Friday when we stream again. was the full slide without anything redacted on that that time that we saw earlier on. This isn't Half-Life and it's a portal mod, but for some reason the mod gives off Half-Life vibes too. Well, I think they're because they're so similar. Crazy. It's easy to get vibes from both. What a machine. Let's look for the input. Look for things that seem complicated. Look for things that seem complicated. Right through here. I mean, big red button, is that complicated enough? Wait, that's it? You just need to press a button? Well, that's kind of underwhelming. Whatever, it's powering up. You'll soon see what this beast is capable of. We need to run a series of checks. Um, there should be a cube arriving near you any second. Please put that into the specimen chamber on the left. Just wanted to check if I put it in the wrong one. Okay. I guess not. Starting first test on an inanimate object. If all goes well, the cube will be teleported to the other chamber. Oh, please work. Starting first jump. Now! It worked. It actually worked. That's very good. See, while low-tech devices like your handheld portal device need to place physical portals to achieve teleportation, this little guy can instantly swap any two volumes of space in the whole universe. We design entire test chambers around not being able to shoot portals through walls while this thing just bypasses our three-dimensional plane. Anyway, let's recycle that cube. Gotta clean up after ourselves. Ah, the old cube incinerator. I hate to break it to you, but there is one more test we need to pass. First comes inanimate, then animate. Please enter the specimen chamber. Oh dear. Need to finish cleaning up here. I don't want to leave a mess behind. All right. All right, sorry, but to start with the test, 
you'll have to temporarily resign as janitor. No worries, I'll rehire you after the test, but I need a registered test subject to continue. Good. We're almost there. Thank you for doing this for us. Well, time to put an end to the collapse. Let's rebuild the central core. Oh, right. You probably know her as GLaDOS. It's about time we bring her back, don't you think? That monster spread her parts all over the facility. Even the parking lot. No way in hell I could get her back together without this machine. Time to start the test. So, listen to that um dialogue there i guess this is set like between portal one and two then right if um saying about the spread glass all over the uh, parking lot so yeah i guess this is like another one of those um it's like another one of those like mods a bit similar to the Mel, was it Mel? Where you wake up ages? I think that was Mel. Might have been Mel, because Mel sat in between Portal 1 and 2 again, I think, right? Because, like, right at the end of Mel, you wake up Chell, just as you're shutting down all the systems. Um, but yeah, I guess it sits, like, between 1 and 2. That is ages, yeah. Been a while. Thought it was. I was just trying to think of the other mods that it could have been. See you on the other side. That's not good. What are you doing in there? Get out of there! I can't turn it off! Oh boy. You're back. I thought I lost you. I can fix this. I know I can. Just give me a second. We worked. I almost fixed it. I'll try to get you out of this spaceship loop. Gotta be quick about this before you leave again. Get ready. As if we didn't know that was going to go to... Oh. And it looks like my device is ruined. All right, guys. Well, like I said, I'm only going to play to the end of chapter four. So on Friday, we'll come back and we will pick it up from chapter five. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed uh, my playthrough so far. And yeah, like I said, back on um, Friday, 9 p.m. GMT. We'll finish this off hopefully. Um, but until then, thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care, stay safe. Until next time, happy gaming. Bye, guys.